Thank you. Uh, as mentioned, I am Mike Dombeck. I am the Head of Business Development for Precision Biosciences. Precision is a genome editing company built around the Arcus genome editing platform, similar to CRISPR's, Talon's, or Zinc Fingers. However, Arcus is differentiated in part in that it is developed entirely and owned entirely by Precision, and given its mechanism, has advantages in specificity, delivery, and the applications that we can utilize it for. And we're using this in the space of cancer immunotherapy, gene therapy, and in agriculture and food applications. Precision is 10 years old. For the first nine years of its history, Precision focused in the agricultural space and was a profitable company. Last year, we did our, first, uh, did our Series A, raising approximately $26 million to push into the therapeutic space. Precision is now just over 50 people, targeting 70 to 75 by the end of the year, with $111 million cash currently. Our product programs are in preclinical development right now, pursuing both allogeneic CAR-T and in vivo gene therapy programs. Our lead programs in both CAR-T and in vivo gene therapy were projecting to enter the clinic in early 2018. On the immunotherapy side, we have a six-target collaboration with Shire, originally Baxalta. Uh, on the gene therapy side, all of our programs remained wholly owned by Precision. Our leadership team combines deep scientific expertise with some of the earliest uh, participants in the zinc finger space as our co-founders and co-inventors of our technology, combined with uh, broad and deep expertise across biotech and uh, farm, big pharma therapeutic development. To talk a little bit about Arcus now, Arcus is a homing endonuclease, and the advantage of homing endonuclease is, is in nature, these are evolved as, they are nature's genome editing tool. They are exquisitely specific, but they are also exceedingly difficult to engineer. This has driven the development of zinc fingers, talons, and crispers, which are much more manageable and customizable, but the trade-off in developing that customization is a loss of specificity. Arcus combines the best of the homing endonuclease with the, the flexibility and designability of a CRISPR. Arcus maintains that exquisite specificity of a homing endonuclease, but Precision has the ability to custom design uh, the, this nu the Arcus nucleases to hit any target. Arcus is based on the naturally occurring homing endonuclease iCRE1 which in nature exists as is a genome editing tool that promotes insertion and homologous recombination. Precision chose to base the Arcus technology off this, home, this iCRE1 homing endonuclease to take advantage of some of the strengths and, and unique features offered by uh, iCRE1. F number one, it is in, in, in its natural state, it is an inactive molecule. It cannot cut in its inactive state. The, uh, there is no active site for it to cut DNA. Only when the molecule finds its intended target site, it binds to the DNA, undergoes an allosteric shift that creates the active site and allows it to cut its intended target. Otherwise, it cannot cut DNA. It is also spe uh, highly specific given its large target site. It has a 22 base pair target site that it recognizes. In eukaryotic cells, this is sufficient to define a single target site. So our technology combines the advantage of a very specific target site with activity that is only present when that target site, when that specific target site is recognized. Finally, Arcus, unlike the other genome editing uh, approaches, creates a three prime overhang when it creates a break in the DNA, a four base pair three prime overhang. A three prime overhang is required to initiate homologous recombination in a eukaryotic cell. We can leverage this feature of Arcus for insertion of DNA sequences, and we see much higher efficiency with targeted insertion with our technology than some of the competing genome editing approaches. Starting from that iCRE1 enzyme, what, Arcus, uh, what Precision is able to do to create Arcus is featured on this slide. First, we're able to introduce bridging contacts. 
the Arcus molecule does not have a, a guide sequence versus a, a cutting sequence, or a, a guide component versus a cutting component. It is all a single molecule driven by amino acid uh, electrostatic interactions between the protein and the DNA backbone. We're able to control those bridging contacts and vary them to alter the binding affinity of the Arcus molecule to the DNA backbone. This allows us to either introduce greater repulsion or affinity to control how tightly uh, the Arcus molecule is bound to the DNA backbone. We can also control the active site configuration and vary this to either increase or decrease uh, the catalytic activity of the Arcus molecule in making its cut. So between uh, changing and altering the bridging contacts and that active site configuration, we can fine tune uh, the cutting of the Arcus molecule to uh, the intended target site. Then finally, we can design the protein DNA interface all along the bottom of the molecule where the molecule binds to the DNA backbone so that we can recognize and identify and bind to any intended DNA site. This is about a five-week process from uh, identification of a target to an optimized molecule. Finally, as I mentioned, the Arcus nuclease is a single-chain single chain molecule encoded by a single gene that is very, very small. It is only 930 base pairs. This gives us significant advantages in delivery. Uh, we've had great success with LNP vehicles and with AAV vehicles uh, delivering as mRNA. We can fit up to three Arcus nucleases into a single AAV vector. Finally, on the intellectual property and patent uh, provision front, as I mentioned, this is wholly developed and wholly owned by Precision. We have over 30 issued patents around the molecule and changing different amino acids to structure the molecule. In addition, we treat much of the engineering and creation of an Arcus nuclease as trade secret. So while the platform is patented, each molecule, each Arcus nuclease uh, that we generate is a novel, non-obvious entity, which means each one that we generate is patentable in addition to the IP position around the platform. As I mentioned, we're applying the Arcus nuclease to both immunotherapy and T cell applications, as well as gene therapy. On this slide, uh, an X the red X represents a knockout. Two Xs represents a double knockout that we're affecting. Uh, the green arrows represent an insertion that we're affecting, and the uh, uh, curved arrows represent a correction uh, in trying to restore the wild-type gene. On the CAR-T side, we're pursuing allogeneic CAR-T therapy, which involves three key steps. One, knocking out the TCR receptor, the native TCR receptor, to prevent graft versus host. We also eliminate uh, MHC class one by knocking out beta-2 microglobulin to improve engraftment and reduce uh, host versus graft. And then finally, we knock in the CAR gene to a defined locus. In particular, we knock it into the native TCR locus. So in one step, what we do is knock out the TCR to, pre to create an allogeneic product and knock the CAR directly into that site, disabling the native TCR and causing the cell to express the CAR in a predictable fashion as if it were the native TCR. This is our first uh, mouse study in a Raji tumor model with our allogeneic product. This is taken out to 32 days, and we see tumor elimination in the top two dose groups, uh, the beginning of a recurrence in one of the five animals in the lowest. We have now taken this out past day 50 with uh, similar results, no recurrence in those top two dose groups, and a one re uh, two recurrence in two of the five animals in the lowest dose group. To the best of our knowledge, this is the longest duration uh, anyone has seen with elimination with an allogeneic CAR-T product. As I mentioned, on the CAR-T side, we are in a partnership with Shire. This is a six-target partnership. Uh, targets have not been disclosed, but anything that has not been named remains available to Precision to either develop and or partner uh, with other companies. 105 million upfront, up to 1.6 billion in uh, milestones and uh, fees, plus royalties, and Precision also has a co development, co promotion option in the US. So the Shire partnership is the 
core of our CAR T and our T cell uh, therapeutics program. We also, uh, though, have plenty of availability to partner and or develop internally in the CAR T space, T regs, T CRs, and TILs. On the gene therapy side, I'd like to talk about uh, our work in HEME, retinitis pigmentosa, and Friedrich's ataxia. On the HEME uh, aspect, what we're doing is we believe a unique approach in the industry right now. We are targeting roughly half, uh, an inversion that occurs in roughly half of hemophilia A patients where the intron 22 is inverted. And what we are, our approach to this and what we've been able to show in vitro is that we are able to create a break uh, close to that inversion and revert it to the wild-type gene. So we are attempting to restore wild-type function in the factor VIII gene in, gene in hemophilia A. On retinitis pigmentosa, we are targeting a SNP, a single base pair mutation uh, that is an autosomal dominant manifestation of the disease. And we originally chose this program as a way of exemplifying the specificity of the Arcus nuclease. What we've done here is design a nuclease that is specific to that single base pair mutation, but will not cut the wild type silenced allele that all patients carry. What we are doing here is knocking out, by recognizing that single mutation, knocking out that mutation and relying on the silenced uh, um, wild type allele for a conversion event to restore the wild type gene um, in, in the allele where we make the cut. As you can see on the bottom left of this slide, this is data around uh, three nucleases we created, one that is specific to the mutation, one that is specific to recognize the wild type, and then one that does not discriminate. And as you can see, Arcus is very efficient at targeting just that single base pair mutation without damaging the wild type allele. Finally, on Friedrich's ataxia, Friedrich's ataxia is a trinucleotide repeat, and what we are attempting to do in, in Friedrich's ataxia is to knock out that trinucleotide repeat. And as you saw on our pipeline slide, this is what we consider a double knockout, and this is a good example of taking advantage of our delivery uh, capabilities. We deliver two nucleases in a single AAV vehicle, one that recognizes an upstream sequence and one that recognizes a downstream sequence around the Friedrich's uh, trinucleotide repeat. We deliver these together, they're expressed together, they cut simultaneously, dropping out that trinucleotide repeat and deleting it. And as you see in the middle, we have PCR evidence in patient cells showing that we can delete that repeat. But going back to the homologous recombination and those uh, three prime overhangs, we can design what the ends of these breaks look like. And our intent here is to design the breaks to re-ligate in a predictable fashion. And what you see on the right side of this is in HEK cells and then in patient cells, when we affect this double knockout and deletion of the trinucleotide repeat, the re-ligation is we get perfect uh, re-ligation predicted the way we designed the nucleases to do it in roughly 90% of the cells where we've affected the deletion. So just reviewing our pipeline again, uh, pushing ahead in CAR-T, our lead program there, uh, an IND late in 2017 into the clinic very early 2018. Uh, and with hopes for hemophilia A and retinitis pigmentosa on the gene therapy side to move into the clinic also in early 2018. So in summary, uh, Precision, again, a genome editing company based around the, the Arcus gene editing platform, unique to Precision, developed entirely at Precision, owned entirely by Precision. Some unique advantages in terms of specificity, delivery, and recombination, uh, particularly for insertion of DNA. Developing allogeneic uh, T cell and cancer immunotherapy programs, uh, life saving solutions to genetic diseases. Thank you, and I'm happy to take questions outside.